after that slight um, hiccup because uh, the audio was still set to uh, go out to a now non-existent USB device having used it earlier on the dovetail stream uh, I've just fixed that so uh, we're all good hope everyone watched the uh, dovetail stream Pre <clears throat> preview of the Mannheim Karlsruhe route so we're running New York New Haven let's just get this uh, oh I missed that never mind I don't want I've no idea what I'm doing now Head back to Oak Point Yard South 2 as soon as you're ready to retrieve the boxcars. The switches are set for the first move. So we didn't get the uh, Gensit scenario done. So we're going to do that now. Um, let's just go back and get these boxcars. Let me know if the sound is alright for everybody. Obviously had to adjust things somewhat for the, uh, the stream earlier on. It's better. Right, so, uh, what's the plan for the evening? Uh, CSX Genset, which we failed to do um, last um, last night. Um, and um, we're going to do... Oh yes, the BR420 or Munich Augsburg. And then we'll see what the time is. Uh, and if it's not too late, then um, we've had a request for the 465 on London Fabrician. Which I'm quite happy to oblige if I'm not falling asleep. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Once I can find out who you are, because I've not got the right window open. Oh, Steve Van Epps. I'm not sure why it will be uh, crashing for you, Mole Man. That is uh, confusing. Uh, broadcasting at the same rate I always do. It keeps hitting me for emergency brakes. It's not very nice of it, is it? What is the DLC giveaway? SLSF 1522 says. Well. Really, it's up to you. I've got a selection of stuff, um, and then the winner gets to pick what they want out of the uh, the pool. So they can have one item, uh, and uh, so in in the prize pool, let's just have a quick look. Um, we've got a four sig, and a four vep, uh, a ginty, F40 PHL, and uh, something else which I shall tell you about a little bit later on. So when we do the prize pool, I'll tell you about what else there is in the prize pool that I just got today. Right. Just got to pull up and get these wagons. I've got the sinking feeling I've played this scenario before, but that's fine. It's another chance to sit and have a look at the uh, this wonderful loco, which I must admit I'm really quite pleased with. So we're going to do the giveaway after this scenario. The scenario is in the order of about 50 minutes, five zero minutes long, I think. So, Bangs just remind me, I haven't actually called out names. I'm so disorganised at the moment. Why am I disorganised? Well, we only finished doing the dovetail stream a little bit earlier, a while ago, and that was done in a uh, um, in a different location than normal. So I did that one at the office. So. Uh, I'm all of all of a kerfuffle. All right, where is this book? This yard nine place. Go via there and drop the wagons back where we came from. Okay.
Right, so, who have we got on the channel? We have Dark Steve, we have uh, LAZ, Alastair, Bad Hair, Bang Coaches, uh, Brian Austin, Damien, Ed, Gareth, Irish Frail Guy, Jimbo, JJ's Movie Hole, JB, JP4712, Keith and Bike, Marcus Footus, Nick, Ninja Joker, Rob Allen, Ross Chris, Russell, Surled, UK, Silver, Spy, Sweet Gaming, Steve Barnett, Timoy64, The Mole Man, UK Gamer, WLON5, and XSteve1. Good evening to all of you, and uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us this evening. Who else have we got here? Saab Daniel and SLSF 1522 have just joined us. Thank you very much. Right, man, these cars form the rear of the new consist. They need to uncouple from them at the end of track nine. So, I've been asked if I can have a look at the 2D map. So, this is the New York New Haven route. So, we're in the uh, the area of New York, this is Grand Central Terminal, this is Penn Station and this is New Rochelle and uh, this is us here Oak Point Yard 9 is where we're at So SLSF 1522 asks, what is my favourite engine out of everything in the game? Oh, I can't answer that question. I like so many engines, all for different reasons. Um, I like steam engines. If you say I could only have one engine, ever, well that would be upset basically. Um, but if I'm serious and I try and answer the question, then um, it would probably be, I don't know, the 3F? Or, or possibly the FEF3? One of those two, um, they really, really are nice. And I like steam. I really like steam. But that said, there are some really good diesels, really good. I mean, the ACS 64 rates pretty highly. Uh, I'm a big fan of the ACS 64. For fairly biased reasons, since I was involved in making it. But it's still, I think, a, uh, a worthy candidate. So SLSF 1522, I throw that question right back at you. If you can only have one train ever in your collection, what would it be? In fact, I'm going to throw it to everybody. You're all going to suffer for it now. <laughs> hey there, uh, Green Iron Lung and uh, Lucas Eddy and Bigs to Big Men, James 4548228 thingy. Uh, welcome to the stream this evening. So yes, I'm going to throw that question to everybody. You can only have one loco in your game. What is it? Right, uh, I've got to uncouple these wagons here. Brickman, the next cut on the list is the loaded center beam cars on track 11, but the empty cars will need to be moved out of the way first. You'll need to change the switches manually as required from now on. What have we got here coming up? So we've got the uh, Black 5, the FEF3, the Super D, says Ed. Mm, interesting. Uh, the ES44 AC, says JJ's Movie Hole. I mean, that's another one. I love the ES44 AC and the SD40 2. And every loco. I'm just trade crazy, what can I say? Class 47, Mallard, Western Class 52. Can you drive one day? Yes. The FEF3 again. Hands down. So SLSF 1522 clearly likes the FEF3, with good reason. The uh, the 373 says the mole man. Well, there isn't one of those yet. So uh, the Ice 3 Eb says Jimbo, and the uh, James says the Superior LMS Black Five. DTG Steve says the Class 370. He's biased, of course. The Steve Van Epps says the SD40-2. No complaints from me there. What's my favourite diesel, says SLSF? Oh, 
I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. And I don't do thinking while I'm driving. It makes me do all sorts of crazy things. Irish Rail Guy says the Isle of Wight engineering cart. This is a man clearly with uh, a degree of uh, standard and style. Rob Allen says the Taurus. Uh, Spy says the class 156. Yes, that is excellent. We drove that one last night. And I'm not going to be, you know, too bitter about the fact that having driven across the entire of the Western, the uh, West Highland Line extension, we get to within three feet of stopping and there's a hidden red signal that, gets, uh, that I get uh, spatted out on. No, I'm only going to be slightly bitter about that. So we've had a, uh, a class 450, a class 360's been come so really wide variety here of different locos that people want to drive, which is cool. Where are we going to? Yo, yard 11, which is these ones. So we need to get these wagons out the front. So we need to take that round and swing that point over. Good, we should be pointing to yard 11 now. Let's see what happens when we reverse. Yard 11! UK Gamer says the Voyager Marcus Futus, the 156. Nick, the Voyager. Steve says the uh, his favourite uh, diesel is the old Paxman Valenta HSTs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lovely machines and that sound and that smoke. Yes, the VOD for all of the last couple of streams, actually, I have been remiss on getting online, so I'm going to try and do that tonight. No, or tomorrow. We'll see what time there is. I've got to prioritise getting some sleep at some time during the day. <laughs> Biggest of big men would really like to see an APT. That's cool. Steve would really like to see an APT. It's almost like these people are in sync and know each other. Bank Coaches says his favourite deal is the F40. Yeah, that's a nice one. Right, so we're just coming in. Grab this uh, consist of three wagons. of three wagons I should say to use the uh, correct terminology cars coupled the space for them on track 12 so drop them there JPT says did the stream go well which stream? Do you mean last night? In which case, meh. Or the dovetail stream in which, yes. I still don't know how to answer about what my favourite diesel is. Well, I really like the ES44. I really like the uh, SD40-2. And you know what? I never thought I'd say that the first thing I would say in that list would be uh, um, all um, all American trains, which is uh, interesting. Clearly my interests are shifting, or at least they're being complemented, shall we say. Uh, Marcus, I, I don't know. Uh, this scenario is 50 minutes, about 50 minutes long. Um, and I don't know when we started it, so it'll be 50 minutes after that unknown point in the uh, in the history of this stream. <laughs> Sorry, that's not very useful. Okay. Bang, I showed the map earlier on, but I will show it again in a little while. 
So we've got to drop these uh, empty centre beam cars over uh, here. It's Gary, welcome this evening. Yeah, Marcus, if you're going to come in, uh, then I would suggest earlier rather than later, because uh, if I floof the scenario up, then uh, I'll just go ahead and do the giveaway. <laughs> Although, uh, you know, I shouldn't mess this one up too badly. I'm not going to guarantee for anything, though, because really... There you go, there's the biggest big man has a good idea. So Gary, we're talking about what is the favourite diesel loco? If you can only have one diesel loco in your collection, what is it? Right, let's drop those there. Good job, go back for the loaded centre beam cars on track 11. So, welcome to JPT, Taybridge, Netherlands, Sturm and Gary, Dozel. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, Lucas, uh, I'm not going to be driving the 52 to... Uh, oh, it's got a handbrake on it. Damn. Um, I'm not going to be driving the uh, um, Western today, but I will make a note of that. Because I do want to drive the Western. So let's have another look at the map. So this is the yard we're in. We've got Grand Central Terminal down here. Whoops, hang on. Grand Central Terminal. Uh, Penn Station, New York. This is New Rochelle. Uh, Pelham's around here. Uh, New Canaan is there. And this is uh, New Haven. Right, let's get back to our switching duties. Let's go back to the player. And switch back onto that one. Hey SLSF, uh, engine driver. I think the points really are just a way for um, people to see at a glance um, how much of a contributor someone that you're talking to is. So if they've got lots of points, then you know they contribute to engine driver quite a bit, and maybe that uh, you'll uh, you'll like um, you know they, they might be someone you want to listen to particularly. I think beyond that, it doesn't have a particular value more a bit of fun really. Hey there Deckers, Kramer Ant Antcraft, Metro Rail Fan, Brian Austin, welcome to the channel this evening. Bash into those. Right, this cut can be attached to the boxcars on track 9. I think you also get points on engine driver for achievements as well. So every time you earn an achievement, I think that uh, is reflected in your um, your score on engine driver as well.
We'll see you later, Fringe. Welcome, Spider Mike. Ah, SLSF is Frisco. Okay, I will try and remember. Uh, how to reduce lag, Decker said. Well, there's a de it depends really on the cause of the lag. Um, if the cause of your lag is down to reading data off your hard drive, then SSDs can make a huge difference. As the uh, wagons in track nine. Uh, JPT, I have no idea, I'm afraid. Uh, welcome, Panda, Pulte. Welcome to the channel this evening. Uh, hang on, I'm getting lost in the yard here. Here we are, we're up this end. I think we need to go down, not that one, that one. Let's see if that puts us on nine. That does indeed put us on nine. Fantastic. Good, it is yard nine we're going to. We got to go further forward here. Yeah, we got to go further forward. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here. So Metro Rail fans just asked what's being given away. Um, as usual, we have a pot of stuff. Uh, we will do a raffle, and then the winner will get to pick something out of that pot. I have a four sig, a four bet, a Ginty, an F40 PHL, and something else, which I'll talk about nearer the time. Right, let's get back to Oak Point Yard 9. Now we have got the point set up anyway. Hey Abel Xenophon, glad you're enjoying it. And, and the extra one that I haven't mentioned yet is also an American uh, piece of DLC as well. So let me just read them out again. A 4 Sig and a 4 Vep and a Ginty, those are British. F40 PHL2. Um, and something else which is American and I'm hoping people will like. Uh, the F40 PHL2 is um, the Miami commuter rail. Um, Frisco, the um, F40 PHL2 is for the Miami route, Miami West Palm Beach. Welcome, Sawzed. We 
We'll see you in a bit there, Steve. Uncouple from all the cars and then proceed to track 7 to pick up the reefers. Let's find a reverse point. There it is, just in front of us. Loco has just realised the Loco was running off without me. Right, so nearly at this reverse point. Welcome back, Gary. Right, at this point, we're going to go back to transfer yard seven, which is in this cluster. It's the second one in is that one and that one I think. Let's see. Yep, that's yard seven. Good. Oh, thank you very much, more man. How much fail did I miss, he says. I'm shunting in a yard. Failing is really difficult, actually. Even for me. A lot more, man. Oh, I'm not getting any support at all here. <laughs> Either explosive cake, Locutus, and craft. Explosive cake. That sounds like my worst nightmare. Why aren't there any electric trains or wires? Well, we're in a diesel shunting yard at the moment. Um, out there on the main line, there are actually overhead wires. Um, but in this particular section, there aren't. What I'll do is, when I go and get these wagons, I will uh, run over and I'll show you where the electric... So, this is the New York to New Haven route, but, um, like I said, we're in a yard off the, off the main line at the moment. Yes, now that's coupling to wagons. Now add these to our consist on track nine. Right, so let's just go and before we do that, let's just go and have a quick look. There you go, look, there's some overhead wires. In fact, earlier on there was actually an Amtrak train went through there. Let's have a look, we've got any AI likely to come through anytime soon? No? Okay. But yes, this is the overhead wires on the main line or part of the main line at least. Right, where are we going? We're going to add these to track 9 I think is what they said, so let's do that. Itchy head. Hey Ruben Train Freak, welcome this evening. So Gary's given us the uh, the lowdown. This is Oak Point Yard. It was New Haven's primary freight yard in New York City. 
The way I drive it dark, it's a battering ram. <laughs> How are we doing on the old set of instructions? We're on number 15 and we've got 18 to do. Couple the cut, go via there and then go and stop the number. Okay, so we haven't got much left to do now. We've got to drop these wagons off. Going via the reversing point here. We've got to get all of the wagons out of this siding now, obviously. Nearly there. Deckers 99, do I take requests? I absolutely do take requests. In fact, I would love to take some requests. So, uh, yes, I mean, the best for me, the best form of a request is actually a scenario. Um, whether it's a, a pre included one or if it's one that I download from Workshop, that's cool. The only restrictions are it must only use stuff that's on Steam. So, if it requires a bunch of liveries and stuff to make it work, then uh, I probably won't be able to play it. Oak Point Yard 9 to deliver these wagons or as I call them battering rams all the K4 scenarios on Horseshoe Kev are we a K4 fan at all there Frisco? Awesome, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Welcome. And orange banana. Are there ever any road kills in this game? Abel says no. Even if you go into the scenery editor and place um, things on the track, you'll just drive through them. Antcraft, I presume you mean the South London Network. Um, find me a good scenario on Steam Workshop, and I would love to. So Frisco, did you get the um, the first holiday route uh, that we did? The one where you drive toy trains around the living room? Because that actually had the uh, the K4 in the uh, Ritchie Rail livery. <laughs> We coupled. Good. Look at that. Look at that. See, gently kissed up to the wagons. None of this battering ram nonsense. Good job. Final task on the switch list is to deliver the completed consist to track one. Right. Where is track one then? So we're coming out there. We need to switch that switch and go via 8.4. And then we're going to go up to wherever 8.1 is. Ah, oh, okay. So we're going to bring it all out and then put it all back in that siding there. Fair enough, I can do that. Alright. I think my track IR has got a bit wonky. It's better. Shh. 
bang, it's a long time till Christmas. Stop making Christmas come sooner. I'll go broke if I get another Christmas like last one. <laughs> uh, Metro Rail fan, um, your new consist test scenario, career scenario. Yeah, can you send me a Twitch message on that? If anyone's got recommendations, um, can you, rather than putting them in the chat where I'm going to miss them, uh, if you can put them either on Facebook, um, on the Train Sim Live Facebook, or if you can put just send them to me on a Twitch uh, message, a private message, then um, uh, I would, uh, then I'll hopefully be able to go through them and uh, collate them together. Right, so we're going forward to Oak Point Main 4 East. Speed up, let's speed up some more. Cheers JM1260, thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, bang, I did play one of the scenarios from the um, the Game of Gnomes. I must admit I haven't really done anything with the Holiday Express. That might be interesting to do. I do at some point need to do the other line on the uh, Forest Trail as well. Right, so that's a restriction signal which puts us at uh, 15. Uh, bang, the Game of Gnomes is on YouTube, yes. <coughs> You'll have to look for it, bang. Uh, I can't remember. If you just search on my YouTube channel, you should be able to find it. There you go. Dark has just put up the uh, the links to all the socials. So if any of you are new and haven't yet um, pressed the follow button, then what are you waiting for? Press follow now, right this second. Um, and then go and find the uh, after the channel, after the stream. Go and have a look on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. And, and do the same there, go and press follow. You know you want to. Right. Well, I can't remember, it's where I'm stopping. So I'm going to bring the train to a stop and try and work out where we're going to be routing to. So we are taking the train back into yard line one, which is, yep, we can go back now actually. So let's. Uh, that one, uh, followed by that one, and then we should be in yard one. Rather stunning view, isn't it? That's better. Um, my Steam name is Neutronic, N E U T R O N I C, but if you search for Matt Peddleston, I think is what you'll need to actually search for to uh, come and get it. Hey, Damien, thanks for the follow on YouTube. It's much appreciated. Right, we're backing up into Yo Oak Point Yard 1. Music crew, welcome to the channel, and uh, Captain Bob, welcome to you as well. Damien was a follower as well, so thank you very much for that. 
Right, we're coming into uh, coming into the siding now with this train. Ancraft, if you can drop that into a Twitch private message or into a Facebook message or something like that, that way it won't get lost. I don't know where the follow alarm has gone. I usually use the follow alarm to remind me to go and have a look. Alright, let's get these uh, wagons tucked in. Please do add me on Steam if you wish to. Old Hissler Music Crew, Marcus Footus, Joe the Fish, Pezza Walk, welcome to the stream this evening. Right. That's everything for now, let's see how you did.